Hi guys, welcome back to Ascending with Tiff Talks 22. I am Tiff. So, I have been thinking about this podcast. Spirit gave me, or put this in my head, uh, last week actually. Like, I created the thumbnail and everything. And I was like, oh, that's where I'm going next, right? So, <laughs> But I have not really written anything, so... We're just going to be freestyling right now, but um, I'm confident that I know what I'm going to (laughs) say, so let's get into it. So, um, let me first start by talking a little bit about affirmations, right? So, we all know at this point what affirmations are. In case you don't, um, they are positive phrases that you speak or say or think to yourself to kind of replace negative thoughts or negative beliefs, right? So much so where you um, kind of speak them into being true. I am a firm believer that um, your words have power, right? And so it's so often we are so accustomed to negative thoughts or thinking the worst or expecting the worst that we kind of replay that negative soundtrack in our heads repeatedly right so part of doing shadow work which is just the process of healing and changing your mindset about things and releasing um stagnant beliefs and behaviors outdated behaviors and beliefs um part of the change in that comes with reprogramming the way that we speak and think to ourselves right so i have this um affirmation reminder app right and I really love it I really feel like it is divinely inspired because I have it set to where I only receive like three reminders a day but I'm telling you y'all this thing (laughs) it just has a way of whatever it is that I'm dealing with when I'm shifting into a negative thought process or mind mindset something will pop up from the reminder and I'm looking in my notifications, my uh, push notification at the top and it'll show what the, what the affirmation is for me to repeat. Right. So I just usually say whatever it is five times. Um, so there are a lot of different ones. There are, I have some that are about worrying. So it says, uh, stop worrying. Everything is working out great or it is all is well and all shall be well. Uh, just different ones like that. Right. And so I was noticing the other day, I don't have a problem saying any of those things. Um, like at all, I don't have a problem repeating those things. And a lot of times when we start out with affirmations, it's like, okay, you can start out saying them knowing full well that they are not yet true, but it, because it's what you want to manifest or you want to become the truth, you continue to repeat it or continue to speak it until eventually it's like, yeah, I know that's right. Right. So the other day I'm just going along on my mind and my little business and an affirmation popped up. I was like, cool. So I look at it to see what it is. And it is the affirmation. I deserve the best. And I noticed that when I I started to think about it, because I feel like I kind of stuttered before I got ready to say it. Right. So um, that made me think, because y'all know I'm a thinker. I was looking like, why am I stuttering? Why is that the only one that I kind of roll my eyes on? Right. Why is that the one that I have difficulty saying five times? Um, Why is that? Right. (laughs) So I kind of have to force myself to say, I deserve the best. I deserve the best. But what I really wanted to look at was <clears throat> my hesitancy, hesitancy in saying it. And it's like, why would you hesitate to say that? Is it something that you don't believe is true? Right. And then I was thinking about me and knowing myself and I was like, heck no, I believe it's true. Like, I believe I deserve that. Right. And it made me think of this time, uh, years, years back where I was dating this person. Right. And of course I would pray about different things, different connections, different things in life. 
And I definitely believe in the power of prayer. Again, the power of your words. And I was asking for clarity about different things. I was in a, in a phase, not even a phase. Cause it's a lifestyle, honey. Um, where it's like anything that is not for me, remove it from my life. Right. That's my prayer. Any situation that I shouldn't be a part of that is, that means me no good. That is not for my highest good. Uh, remove it from my life. Right. But this one relationship, y'all, I could not bring myself to pray about. I could not. And then I was thinking, why is that? Why can I not pray about it? Because I knew if I prayed about it, that source was going to reveal to me or make clear to me or cause a tower of some sort to happen where this connection was removed and I was just not ready to walk away from this connection. And it's so crazy because I found myself praying about any and everything except for that connection. How did I know I was ready when I was open to including that connection in the prayer? And of course it fell apart, right? Like it was supposed to had already been signs, synchronicity, symbols, messages, very clear that it was something that I was, was not to continue to be a part of, but for whatever reason, I could not say that prayer. So I thought of this when I was stuttering to say that I deserve the best affirmation. And it's like, it's not that I don't believe I deserve it, but is it possible that I'm knowing some of the things or people or situations that I do want are not the best for me? Do you get that? Where, <laughs> where it's like, I, I believe that I deserve the best, but I'm already, it's already very clear to me that this situation may not be that, or that circumstance may not be that, or that may not be that. So then our fear stops us from speaking what it is that we actually want, because there's a fear of losing what it is that we think we want. Does that make sense? Y'all, that was like a tough realization for me. That was something that was tough to, to, to really sit and accept, right? So when I realized that my hesitancy was based in fear of loss and the rational me kicked in, it's like, okay, I know that I deserve the best. I do deserve the best. And I'm able to repeat it now because I want that for myself. It's truly what I want. But I had to look at my hesitancy and see where I was stopping myself. Right. So um, I guess the message here, of course, is that your words have power. And um, when you start to change the way that you speak or think or see different things, make sure or be sure, be open to being honest with yourself that what it is that you're speaking is what you desire. Because at the end of the day, it's going to create a lot of shifts. It's going to create a lot of changes. I was watching an interview with uh, Quinta Bronson. I think her name is Quinta. Anyway, um, she is from the little sitcom Abbott Elementary. And she was saying how she was getting over a heartbreak and she just started really started out um, repeating affirmations. She said, and it's so funny how that worked because like by the end of that year, like things just really had started to shift where one, not only did I believe the things that I was saying, my life just really started to reflect that. And I was so excited about that. The power of your words, the power of your thoughts, right? So I just wanted to come on and bring that to somebody's attention. Um, if you are in an, in an energy where you or starting affirmations and you don't believe them at first, that is fine. But make sure that it is not out of fear of what you could be losing, right? Because if there's anything in your life that is not for your highest good, know that source is going to replace that with something that is better. If you're asking for 
your highest good for what is best for you. And there's anything around you that does not match the words that you're speaking. Just be prepared for the change. Be prepared to accept the change. Um, Be prepared and be ready to let certain things go. Because your words, your life is going to work to match up to your words and your thoughts and your beliefs. Okay. So another example, I had a client the other day who was like, she was just feeling confused about some things. Right. So, um, based on that, I was like, okay, so I kind of did a general reading for her spiritual reading, etc. But before the reading, she said, you know, I'm not really concerned about love. I don't really have a lot going on with that. So after the reading, she was still a little bit confused. And we ended up talking just quite a bit more and kind of unpacking some things. And guess what? It turns out that her confusion was mostly around love. But I didn't focus on that in the reading because what she had expressed to me was that it really wasn't her focus at this time. But turns out her focus was mostly about love, right? And her confusion around it was there. Uh, So we had to really unpack and go through that scenario, the, the romantic aspect of the situation. But because your words have power and you're saying what it is that you don't want, but at your core from, um, at the bottom of your heart, it's what you truly want. But that's kind of like sending, giving the universe mixed, mixed signals. Because on the outside, you're fronting like, oh, it's not important. But on the inside, it is only, it is one of the only things that you really long for, right? So when I say be willing to be really honest with yourself, be willing to be really honest with yourself. How are you holding you back? based on what it is you speak versus what it is you think. Is there a difference in the two? Right? So I really had to get honest with myself about, okay, I'm speaking that I deserve the best. I deserve the best. I deserve the best. And I know that I believe that, right? So what is my hesitancy in saying that? And it was rooted in the fear of losing something that already is I'm at a point y'all I've been doing shadow work for a really long time but I'm at a point where I'm like you know what I just don't want to lose nothing else right (laughs) but I know and I'm trusting and I have the faith that you know anything that I have experienced as a perceived loss is going to be replaced with something better you know so I'm confident in that so why should I have a problem speaking that out of fear of loss, right? I hope this makes so much sense, guys. Just know that most people who start out doing affirmations don't start out in an energy of, oh, I believe this, right? I am confident. No, you usually start out saying that affirmation because you are not confident, but you want to be. So as you continue to speak it, continue to speak it, continue to speak it, your life is going to conform. Your behaviors are going to conform because it's a subconscious programming of the mind and your mindset that is going to allow your actions to match your words okay so never fear and it's easy to say uh, but never to never fear what it is that you may lose right especially when you know that the things that you are asking for the things that you are expecting the things that you are speaking are going to be for your highest good keep that faith and um trust that spirit is working to bring your heart's desires into fruition All right. But also be willing to be honest with yourself and know, trust and believe that you deserve the best. Um, Sometimes the 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 confirmation, the affirmation is I deserve better. But it's like, do you really believe that? And if you do believe that, um, are you hesitant to speak that? And if there is any hesitation there. It probably is something that you need to be putting at the top of your affirmation list. Okay. (laughs) So I hope this was helpful for somebody. Um, Yeah, I hope this was helpful for somebody. 
I was going to hit on confusion just a little bit as well because we have this moon coming up. But I think I'll do it. Save that for another time. Uh, Don't forget, guys, to like, share, subscribe. Thanks for listening to this quick, short little episode today. Let me know how this has been helpful for you or if this is something that you've struggled with. Do you struggle with repeating affirmations when you know that they are not yet true? Um, Or do you struggle with saying certain things out of fear of it being so powerful and effective that it changes what you have happening at the current moment? Because a lot of us are afraid to move forward because we don't want to lose what already is. And I will go ahead and add this about the confusion that is Part of what creates the confusion, you can know that you want better. You can know that you want the best and that something isn't working for you. Right. But then once you remove yourself from that something, that situation, that person, that connection out of loneliness sometimes or out of fear that uh, maybe I won't get something else. It's like, well, maybe I should have stayed in that partnership. Maybe I should have stayed at that job. No, that's the confusion in you. That's the resistance to change. That's the resistance to evolution coming up because now you're out of your comfort zone and you are not completely clear about what is to come for you. So it is a huge act of faith to step out of that energy of confusion and to be open to and accepting of the fact that I deserve the best. And the more you speak it, the more that your guides, your angel guides, God, source, spirit, the universe is going to work to bring those things to you. All right. I hope this was helpful, guys. Definitely follow me on um, social media, which I have not been talking a lot. (laughs) I feel like in the past week or so, the past few days, because I have been so deeply reflective and not even, um, always intentionally, it'll just end end up like, dang, where did I end up? Uh, how did I end up in this deep ass thought? (laughs) But it is always for my good and for my growth. So I'm open to it. Uh, All right, guys, that's all I have for you. Vibe high.